What's up, everybody? Back with AJ Stryker on esports and gaming tonight. And I have one of UFN's most prominent and award winning wrestlers with me, Mr. Al Bundles. How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic, sir. It's all about getting to know, you know, members of our community, not just in one, in the, a few of the communities, you know, trying to get people to join, you know, esports um, in, in general, because it's, it's a great way. And you never know with COVID how it, things might shut down again. And there you go. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> so tell us, man, who are you? You know, the person behind the player. Give us some interesting facts about yourself. Just let us know a little bit about you. Uh, well, you know, uh, the character is kind of based upon me. Uh, my name is Al. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where, that's where Al Bundles came from. Uh, you know, I'm from Connecticut. Um, there's some, you know, there's some similarities uh, between me and the character. Like he has to, I feel like the best way to connect is to take a little piece of me, but at the same time, it's a double-edged sword, right? So, you know, some people might use that and they get emotionally tied so things uh, resonate with them in a negative light. So, like, if you're in a story and you're getting a bad, the short end of the stick at that point, you know, they might take it to heart. But, you know, that's, it's a, it's a tightrope you're supposed to walk. It's like, if you want the, the good presentation, you have to be emotionally invested. But at the same time, you can't be too emotionally invested where you start getting jaded or you, you're too involved and, you know, it's just going crazy over a game at the end of the day. And that didn't even answer the question. <laughs> I didn't ask question, but we're here now. We're here. Um, me, I, I'm me, man. I'm a, I'm a family man. Uh, you know, I'm a I'm a guy that's trying to live their life the best way he can. And this is a nice little escape. You know, like you know, life is too serious sometimes. I feel like I was a kid at one point where it was just playing video games, doing whatever, like no real responsibilities. And all of a sudden, life hits you, and now you got like children that you have to guide and everything else so like sometimes it's good to escape and go back to that time where responsibilities wasn't a, a thing you know you can just live and express and, and dream indeed you know, I, indeed it's true and it was, you know, it's a, good, a good way for you to connect with people that you may not ever were, you, you may not have ever known in real life you may not have even crossed paths in real life so that's interesting. Um, uh, yeah, very true. I met some good people, man. Some good people. Like, uh, can't complain about that. That's a, uh, it's a blessing. Indeed. Um, how does the, well, why did you join the UFN in the first place? Was it just? I joined the UF. Okay, go ahead, Ben. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, my bad. I didn't even know you finished answering. My bad. I'm all look at me all stepping your tools. My bad. No, you go ahead. Finish the question, and I will answer when you're done. My bad. No, you're good. You're good. I was like, why do you, you know, why did you join the UFN? You know, I know that you mentioned um, it being a nice escape for you, you know, to to be able to kind of do things that you, you, you know, watch things and be a part of something that you used to watch as your youth. But is there any other reason that you may have joined the UFN? Uh, well, you know, I joined the UFN because Luger, my guy, uh, you know, if that's, that's my guy's show. I want to be a part of it. And, you know, I want to do the best I can to try to, you know, make it a little bit better. You know, contribute as much as I can. Okay. Then that you have. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. So how does the uh, UFN differ from other EFEDs, in your opinion? Well, uh, the thing I love with Luger do how it's different. Like, you know, some people might have a match where it's just submission or just KO or maybe even both. But I think that's, you know, a lot of people pay homage to Luger now and is inspired by him. But I feel like nobody wasn't really doing that before, Not, let alone a whole show dedicated to it. It's like Luger brought UFC into WWE and made a perfect merger, which is UFN. So, you know, I, I love the concept. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Like, uh, when I first got into this stuff, I wasn't as skilled as creating the character as I am now. So, like, I hated submissions because that was a, a killer's heels to me. Like, you know, my 
my guy would like tap out when somebody put a sub on him. So I was one of those people who hated subs and it was the worst thing. It was like cheating. But then started working with Luga and he showed me the rules of it. And I was like, oh man, yeah, nah, this is, I was bugging. I was bugging. Yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's good to uh, sharpen yourself as much as possible. Hmm. Okay, good advice. What was your favorite match that you ever participated in? Favorite match? Yeah. Maybe one uh, you a little bit more than others? Uh, favorite match. Let's let's think about that. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you know what? I don't I can't even tell you what the favorite match is. All I know is the next match that I win is gonna be my favorite. I think the the whole winner aspect, that's what I'm I'm competitive in all since the word being competitive. Uh so that's my thing. It's just uh, <laughs> the win. All right. Speaking of wins. Well, excuse me. Also, win? good good content on the way, too. Now, definitely good content, good story, compelling stories, uh, entertainment with, like, promos and everything else. But, you know, the winning helps all that. But I must say um, that losing, if you can cut a good promo when you lose and make people buy into that and, and don't worry about that loss – then you're doing your job. That's that's where you're really good at what you do because it's easy to, to talk trash when you're winning. That's like the easiest thing to do. But can you turn that losing situation into a learning uh, situation or show the depth of your character? You know, like use that to like build more development to that character. Right. I mean, I'd be like, I'd be overdoing this. Like this is like, <laughs> this what is like mean? a hobby, but like I'd be like over, like, I just overdo it, like, with the thought process of it. Not overdoing it, but, like, to me, I try to critique everything. I, I feel like, you know, every little thing you do, it comes together and it's more appealing to the to the viewer. Hopefully, I think it is. Mm-hmm. You definitely want to, you know, differentiate yourself from others, either other cause, other um, Discord communities, other leagues, you know, because... You know, someone could just be like, okay, well, this is here over here. Like, this is all right, you know, but this over here is more appealing. And so when you do have those promos that are engaging, win or lose, when you do have people that are in character and they're entertaining, not disrespectful in the way that it's offering, but it's, 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 it's kind of like watching like your WWE you know, or some, you know, like actual promos, you know, and it's fun, uh-huh. you know, so that's, that's good. Now, speaking of wins, though, you said, you you know, you want to concentrate on the win. What was the biggest win you ever had? Uh, the biggest win I ever had? Mm-hmm. Uh, wow, that's a good question. You know, it, it was crazy. I don't really think about those things. Like, mm. Like it just after a while, everything just blends together to me. It's just a overall presentation of characters, the most important thing to me. So I can't even tell you off the top of my head what the most important win, title, or anything of that nature. Actually, um, now you know what? One of my biggest wins was my first major title in um, TCW, ran by Jackson, Georgia. Uh, what's up, JJ? Um, I I was going against this guy named Luke Wolf, and I was doing like, <laughs> I guess I was trying to like get opportunities to get to the title, but I kept losing, right? So okay. uh, he had this thing where you participate in the stream, you get like points, and then you can cash in um, for a, sh- a chance at a title. So I did that. I did a cash in, and um, I I won. You know, that was my first time getting a title in that fed. Uh, you know, TCW is like the second place I went to. I, I started this. Actually, it's, it's funny. Um, <laughs> so I think I told somebody this recently, but I didn't tell this to y'all, so it's new. Um, so back in 2K16, right? I um, So no, actually, let me go even further back than that. So growing up, I would watch some of my friends or my brother play like certain games. Like it's like a movie experience to me, right? Like, and I, I get captivated in that. Cause I, I could play the game, but sometimes I like to spectate. Mm-hmm. So like I will watch them play and like in the way my mind works, I like to put myself in place of the character to like be more in tune into the movie. So I would do that. And then I always said to myself like, Oh man, I wish there was like a, a way that you could watch my play a game if you wasn't with them. 
So back then, that technology wasn't here. Or as far as I know, it wasn't there. Mm-hmm. So I like I found out about a thing called Twitch one day, which did exactly what I wish that they had. So when I got to that point of realizing what this app was, then I was like, you know what? Let me search um, 2K and see if I can see like a like somebody doing a wrestling show. That would be dope to me. I'm thinking nobody's thinking about this. This is some. I'm ahead of the game. I'm like, hey, ain't nobody on that. So then I go to Twitch and I see a Fed doing what I wish that was being done. I'm like, oh shit, this is amazing. I, I got to like be a part of this. So I joined. And I'm so ignorant to this that I can't even, I, I don't even know that that's the only, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm thinking that's the only place that does this, right? They're the only ones. So all of a sudden, this place is gone. <laughs> like, they don't air again. I had the owner's um Xbox name, and I hit him up. He never responded to me. I'm like, all right, I guess, I guess it's over with. So I went a little while waiting, waiting, like, like seeing that something like they come back. They never came back. Well, as far as I know, they never came back. So I just went on Twitch again, started searching, and then that's where I seen the the, the dude Jackson Jordan. I joined there, and um, you know, that's how it all started. And then after that, um. Oh, I can keep going. I can keep going with that story. I'm glad. <laughs> I know. Okay, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I can I mean, talk. I'm telling you, we'll, we'll be sitting here talking about my whole origin, like for mad long. I don't, I don't like my whole like Twitch on to come into this origin. That's, well, that goes, nah, that's we don't gotta do all that. We're gonna have to have a whole nother show just talking about your adventures on Twitch. <laughs> I guess so, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good, man. It's all good. It's like you're opening up, so I appreciate that. Um. Do you remember one of the most devastating losses that you ever took? That your car has ever took? Uh, uh, devastating losses. Like some you was expecting. Uh, maybe, you say, I know I got this. And then you was like, nope, not today. Well, you know, funny, funny thing is sometimes I'd be like thinking that the car is going to lose. So I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Because this call can, like, that person call can do this and that. I don't know. But I don't tell nobody. I keep it to myself. Because, you know, nobody don't need to know that. that that's my own personal business. Um, but, nah, this, this mm. well, shit, hell. Uh, recently, the the match with uh, Crazy J, I, I just knew my call was going to win. He was on a winning streak. Um, I was like, now nah, this is his time. And he, and, you know, he got this. I, I'm confident in that he's going to prevail. And uh, nah, <laughs> nah, 2K was like, nah, you, you definitely not. That's not happening, guy. Sit, sit your ass down. And, <laughs> and that bundle's call got sat the fuck down. And but it's all good, man. It's all part of the game. You know, you learn, you learn from that. You you use that to uh, to develop the character, which I did. You know, and that's why I got to start going down this path I'm doing with uh, bundles and jerk them now. Okay. And I was going to ask you about that fight between you and Crazy J, because that was a crazy fight indeed. Um, so is that why you kept catch him outside and and, and slam his head, you know, slam him into all them cars before that match? Oh no, you're okay. So what transpired was that uh, me and Jay had the match at the last HOP, HOP forty five. Okay. I lost, and then. Um, Jay came, did a promo afterwards, uh, rubbed Bundles the wrong way. So Bundles just took it to him. Like he, he Bundles had a set in his, oh man, I'm like giving, like giving out gems before the evening <laughs> bells, but whatever, man. Um, so let's just say Bundles took, uh, that personally. So he was like, you know what, since I can't, since I wasn't able to beat you, in that match, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of you another way. So he took it upon himself to do what he did. Um, and then I'm using that to kind of create a dynamic between him and Jerkum too. Uh, so you know, people see that unveiling real soon. You know, uh, hope. Well, I, mm-hmm. I think people will be entertained. I, I, think, I think both characters are compelling in their own different ways. Indeed. Indeed. It's going to be a good match. Now, what are your thoughts on Larry Wills? You know, we spoke of you proudly when it came down to the 247 championship title a few days ago. Uh, 
I mean, in character, fuck Larry Wills. Out, <laughs> out of character, fuck Larry Wills. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, man. You you cool, man. I already told you you a good guy. Uh, nah. Uh, I mean, out of character, I, I think he's cool, man. He put a lot of work in. He's um, he got his fed going. He's active in other places. You know, he's building his name up. Uh, so you know, I think he's a good guy. Uh. We're talking in character. Fuck them. Fuck <laughs> pretty much fuck everybody in character, but out of character, you know, good guy. <laughs> gotcha. So hashtag golden shovel. Mm -hmm. Oh, golden shovel is actually that's that was Luger. That was Luger brainchild right there. Um, so I have to kill the sunrise, which is the submission finisher that I have, mm -hmm. and um. So when Luger said it, in my mind, I thought he meant like Triple H because I think Triple H has this thing with shovels. And I, I think one time he had a golden shovel and a shovel is like a term for like burying people, like getting like this embarrassing of the hell out of them to make yourself look good. So I just ran with that in my mind. That was the meaning behind it. But he told me it's more like a John Cena thing doing the same thing. I think, I don't know. I might have fucked that up. I don't know. But that, that's yeah. the gist of it. <laughs> that's the gist of it as far as I know. I don't know. I'm getting okay. everything. Listen, I got I found it intriguing, that's why I asked. And I also find this dirty dollar idea intriguing too. What made you think of that? I'm sorry, what was the question? The dirty dollar idea. What made you think of that one? Highly intriguing there too. Oh, the dirty dollar. Oh, mm -hmm. um uh actually, man, to, to be honest, that was <laughs> uh, so it was Ted DiBiase. So I, uh, when I first got into call back in 2016, the 2K16, um, I had the money gimmick, but like I didn't know nothing about like the, the all the things the game could do yet. So it was this one guy. Um, I forgot his name. Uh, I think it was AJ Storm. I think that was his name. And he had the money coming down in the entrance. And I think his entrance was, um, I think his victory was putting the dollar in the mouth. I think, I'm not sure about that part. Mm -hmm. But that's why I seen when the, I got an idea from him. I kind of <laughs> stole that. I'm like, well, that, that, that matches me better. I'm taking that, <laughs> you know, uh, right, whatever. And I, I you know, I debold it. I'm like, you know, like my giving now, punk. And it's all right. And he just, yeah, he. <laughs> He laid down and put his belly up, you know. Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. He ain't do all that. That was all extra for no reason. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. That was mad extra. <laughs> all right. So now you on the hot seat. Mm -hmm. So these are gonna be some rapid fire questions that I want you to answer. Is this gonna be like what first thing? I'm sorry, I'm all cutting you. I'm mad, Rue. I'm a, I'm a horrible guest. Are these is this a type of thing where you like ask me thing and I tell you the first thing that comes to my mind? And like you say like orange and I say cereal. I don't know orange yeah. cereal. What? Yeah. So it's it's okay. similar, to that, but it's gonna be in relationships with the UFN and mm -hmm. other cause. Okay. Other cause. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. And this is this is me answering like as me as the guy who goes to work every day. That that mm -hmm. guy, right? Got yeah. you. Okay. Keep and all this too in the interview. You know, your your call seems to be like really in in reading about him. He seems like to be really kind of full of himself. You know, like I mean, I, I know what I'm oh, doing. Yeah. yeah, I'm like okay. Well, how I want to know oh, yeah, what that's... you think about other people. Okay. All right. Now you are on the hot seat. So, best male call overall that's not yours. Oh, mine. Even though it's mine. No, you can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man, come on. Negative. All right, best male call, Luke Luger. Okay. Best female call? Uh, Best female call. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Who is? Oh man, I'll be honest. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. No, nah, I'm not gonna be honest. I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> um, best female call. The best female call. Who is the most compelling? I really have not thought about that. Mm -hmm. Most compelling female call to me. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man. Uh, um, um, Jada Storm. Okay. A car that needs work, both male and female. <laughs> Call it. Wow, that's that's crazy. Um, a car that needs work. I think everybody needs work. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Like, that's okay. that's that. Okay. Yeah, that's a politically okay. correct answer right there. We all need to work on ourselves to get better. Mm. You know, one person is not perfect. Mm. Everybody mm. can improve. That was real. Yeah, that's, a, that's a presidential <laughs> answer right there. Okay. <laughs> all right, who gives the best promos? Me? I know I can't answer with me. No, no. Yeah, you uh, actually, actually, you can with that one. It, these you can. If I, I'm gonna say, um, you can, that's not yours when it's when I want you to name somebody else. But if you think you do the best promos, then you can say that. Oh no, I, I don't think I know. And oh. that's in character. I'm that's out of character. I'm saying, <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't trying to hear that. And and I've been trying to tell people out there too, man. Whoever your top five is, I'll eat them alive. Mm. <laughs> I'll eat them alive. Okay. I've, I've I've heard some of yours, and you can be pretty mean, so I I know what you mean. Yeah, that's, that's the whole um, point of it. And, you know, and and before we finish that, I want to address that too. Mm -hmm. People out there, whoever's taking the time to listen to this, who don't really know me, I hope I hope you're taking the time to listen to this, or you know of me or whatever. Y'all gotta chill with this whole perception that I had the same type of attitude as my call. Like, like there's many times I go into a Discord somewhere and people act weird. Like, there's no point in doing that. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna yell at you for no damn reason, like, like, like come on, man. Like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually a nice guy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Dependent, <laughs> not really, seldomly. No, on Friday. No, only on Friday. When you get paid, <laughs> got it. <laughs> uh, when I get paid, yeah. When I'm broke, nah, don't, don't talk to me. So you got the best promo. So who has the worst? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. Um I, I don't want to say nobody got the worst promos, but there's been some people who uh who weren't really that good mm -hmm. who put work in and improve. I don't wanna say who that who those people are because that would admit that they was really bad at one point. Okay. But you know, hey man, to each own, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're all we're all equal. God bless us all. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <Stop it>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. definitely copping out. So I'm cop. so oh, All right. Man. So, what's the best finisher the game has to offer? I'm sorry. What's the best finisher the game has to offer besides yours? Oh, my finisher. I said besides no. yours. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Damn. Who who got an ill finisher that I like? Uh. Oh man, that goes to show you I don't really be caring what other people be doing. Or I you can tell me what the finisher, like what the finisher move is. The finisher, it, uh, you know, I remember one finisher. It, it probably it's not that potent in this game, but I think it was the last one. Uh, Luger put me onto it. The dungeon lock. That move is crazy. It's not crazy that much in this one, but I like that move. The dungeon uh, lock. Describe it for people that don't know. You basically got the person on the ground and you pull on the I don't I can't even tell you how it looks right now. Wow, that's crazy. I'm trash. <laughs> hey, if you don't know what it sounds like, man, we're on the same boat out there. <laughs> Google it. Use your ghouls. <laughs> who has a who whose car is overrated? Wow. Whose car is overweight? We getting spicy. What is happening? Overrated? Oh man, I know people will say my I know people will say my call is overrated, but you know, that's just hate. Um Oh no, nah, no, nah, there's some there's some overrated people out there. But I, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do it. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to show my growth and be more uh level headed. Oh my god, you can't answer the question? No, nah, I can't answer the question. Fifth man. There's so many amendments I choose fifth. Okay, so what about underrated then? Underrated? Yeah. Um, you know, one guy who's underrated is Carlos Coble. Uh The guy put work in. Uh, the call is a well-designed call. 
He don't create no drama or nothing. He just be. Chill. I never heard nobody say nothing crazy about him. I never heard him being a part of no drama. So mm-hmm. that guy slew the Corvo and JT Smooth. You know, yeah. JT be grinding. He got a good call and it looked good. And uh, fucking JT had like at like one point like four hundred some of the people download his call, maybe more. So JT be putting working on the load, man. People be sleeping on JT. All right, cool. Now I I just got one more question before I let you go. How are you gonna mm-hmm. answer the underrated all nicely and all eloquently, but you couldn't answer the overrated one? Like people really gonna get well, mad. At you. Yeah, so, man. People be, like I don't I don't really care how people feel, but like I don't want to intentionally cause people feelings to get hurt. Uh, people get feelings to get hurt n- enough when I do a promo like in character. <laughs> so I don't I don't want to do it. Like I, it's not worth it. It'd be too much drama queens in this. And it'd be the men who be the drama queens. <laughs> got it. So I mean, I got it. Well, that was cool, man. I appreciate you being on. Um, I appreciate you, man. This this interview been like six years in the making. Making, <laughs> I can't talk tonight. Damn. But yeah, no, nah, it was cool. It was cool. Uh Oh, uh, never mind. Go ahead. No, it has been. It was really cool. It was really cool. I wish that you would answer some of them questions, but you know, I get yeah, it. Yeah, but like. Hey, I don't know, man. I don't want to be negative. Uh, people think I'm negative, though. Negative. Uh, negative. No, well, look at your, I'm looking at your Twitter, and uh, you, you don't want to be negative. <laughs> no, that's that's too. in character, though. That's, I don't like. I don't know, cause like it, it's just you, you don't understand. It'd be the most weird. Actually, you you had your own little yeah, situation. You can understand. <laughs> you can understand how things just be like, yo, what the hell's going on? So. There be people who feel some type of way with the the Twitter promos, and then like God forbid, I get on the mic and say something about somebody. It just be a whole bunch of extra shit. Then like, there's been times like I had people in the management position, their feds coming back to me. Oh, this person said that, that, that. I'm like, oh my god, his feelings are hurt. I'm not supposed to care. You know? <laughs> so that's I, I'm just annoyed with that. Like I just try to do everything in my power to stay away from stuff like that. Like I'll be honest. There's like, there's sometimes I don't deal with people. Like I let the people in, in charge know, like, hey, I don't want nothing to do with this person. Mm-hmm. And and that sounds so petty, right? Like, like if somebody outside a call, and you can keep all this in the interview too, actually. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like Kanye on Drink Champs. I'm just saying mad random shit. And <laughs> and I signed Big Sean. And I got a, I'm the, no, on my tombstone right this, my bad. Nobody probably even seen Drink Champs who's watching this, or not watching, listening to this. I'm rambling, I don't care. Um, Back to what I was trying to say. The point, the point I was trying to make is that I don't remember where I was at. Where was I at? Do you remember where I was at? You were at. The, <laughs> I'm sorry. You, <laughs> you don't remember. You, where I was at. <laughs> no, <laughs> you be giving your mind just be going everywhere. But no, you were, you were just saying that how some people take it to heart, and you know when you make certain statements, even in Twitter, you know, like when you're going back and forth. Oh, and Twitter, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, but yeah, nah, I, I feel like a lot of stuff, um, a lot of situations transpired in my time doing this, right? So, like, I learned that, like, if people don't win, uh, like, I mean, no, not, I'm sorry, that didn't make sense. What I'm trying to say is that I don't win reacting to people. Like, especially if nobody knows of nothing about a situation. So, if you see me or hear me in a promo and I just start going crazy. Mm-hmm. Everybody's everybody's gonna think that I'm bugging out. There's something wrong with me, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the fact is like people don't know a lot of stuff happened up to certain points. When you hear me like going off about something, a lot of stuff happened for me to get to that point. Mm-hmm. And it's so like now I have like this this history, this aura about me or this uh reputation that like I'm I guess I'm like some type of vindictive person i i don't know but you know that everybody misconstrues it based upon how the character from was so like so to speak upon that as well too i like to say this that i try to do method acting so like when i'm doing a promo as al bundles i try to really place myself in that call i am him he is mm-hmm. i and his story is my story a hundred percent so in that moment, if I'm that person and you said this or you did that, how am I going to react to that based upon this person's history, this dynamic of who the person is? Mm-hmm. And I channeled that into my real reactions. 
And also, another thing people have to realize, if you belong to a certain minority minority group, wow, look at that, words are hard. <laughs> and um, if you belong to certain cultures and everything else, right, mm -hmm. your volume comes off, your tone is, is louder. You know, like people got to stop uh, playing tone police, like policing other people's tone and everything else. Like everybody else has a different delivery of how they do this. At the end of the day, it's entertainment. Some people are going to like it. Some people are not going to like it. Some people are going to like somebody's attire. Somebody else is not going to like it. Like, it doesn't, everybody has something out there for them. You know, like, like people just got to relax at the end of the day and just enjoy it. Uh, if you have an issue with something, address it with that person. You don't have to run to third parties, you don't have to go disgusting behind somebody's back, you don't have to do none of that. Like a lot of properties going on out there is self inflicted. Sorry to tell y'all that. A lot of issues. This had nothing to do with me. This is the stuff I hear, stuff I see. It's like a recycling door, like a revolving door. There's always gonna be trauma. And people are like, oh, we use this as an escape. Yes, that is true, but at the same time, the same how why we all escaped here, there's some people who lives are miserable out there. So they come to this escape to be the bully, mm -hmm. to escape it. Or some, or to some people are just assholes, period. You just got to accept it. And and that's what I try to um, distance myself from people or remove myself from situations or don't even go into a situation based upon the dynamic that's there, which sounds crazy that you have to do that. But if you want to try to keep yourself in a good mental space or like just not, a, not to be in drama, you just have to protect yourself at all costs. Yeah. I get that. And that was well said. That was well said. Hopefully it will be received in the way that it was meant to. And, you know, it, at the end of the day, we have to understand that we are not these avatars that we are playing as. You are not our bundles on the street. Jada is not Jada. Well, I can't be. I can't be. I mean, I son, ah, those, no, those particular... No, no. I'm no, so I mean, you can, that. then it's like, these, these are the personas, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to fight nobody on the street, you know, now, the, to be honest, with my call, my call is pretty, like, really similar to my personality, in the sense of, like, I'm not going to get out here and just be the, the one that's going to be calling people out their names all the time, and all this kind of stuff, like, you push me, then, okay, but... I'm, my car is more cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, I'm going to beat your ass. And then, you know, I'm going to shake your hand afterwards if you want to do that. If you don't, then fuck off. I'm cool with that. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's it's all fun for me. I'm just there to watch some wrestling, have a few laughs with people in chat, and then just go about my business, you know? So when people take things too seriously and when people take things out of context, Sometimes it's on accident. Sometimes it's on purpose. Um, it's better for you to go to that person and just try to hash it out. And if you can't, if you absolutely can't, then you know that that's just one less person you got to worry about. You know. And, 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 and but the thing about that too, like I mean, like people got to understand, everybody don't want to be your friend. Everybody don't want to kiss and make up. No. Like sometimes it's just best to coexist. You stay in your corner over there. That person stay in a corner. We don't have to be friends. We don't have to fake it. None of that. Like, Ooh. like, cause and shit. I'll be real. There's a couple of people I got in that situation. Like, I mean, I don't, we don't gotta be cool. Cause like, I swear to God, like, I'll go the fuck off. Like, so mm -hmm. to protect to protect my peace, I gotta separate myself from people. And man, I feel like this has been a way happier experience. I've, I, you know, it's been times where I just have to force myself to go through a situation where I don't want to do. Because I'm already invested in it, and the um, nah, 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 not no more. I just, I just chill. Like this, because like, all right. There's also points where I feel like, um, like I'm very story driven, or like trying to make stuff happen, right? And mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes I can be like too much going on, and I just want to withdraw. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't want to withdraw mid story or mid feud or whatever's going on. I just want to try to give myself time to to breathe. Mm -hmm. from it so it's like you know it's just a, it's just having a balance now indeed indeed well listen it was a pleasure getting to know you it was a pleasure having you on and of course you're invited to come back on anytime you want to you want to share some you know share some more stories and things like that or 
you know, any more of experiences or even offer some more advice, you feel free to do that, brother. But it was a pleasure being with you tonight. Thank you. It was a pleasure being here. I enjoyed this very much. Anytime, man. Anytime. All right. UFN Nation. We'll see you soon.